Reaches later. All right, what's up, guys? It's your favorite pilot, Bird Man, coming to you with another crazy video. You know, you notice today that uh, a lot of these battery companies are, you know, kind of pre-making these 12S packs for you and just giving you kind of the battery leads so you can um, use the connector of your choice to, to you know, finish up the pack for your uh, speed control or whatever. But, you know, I got a couple of um, smart 5,000 milliamp um, 6S packs here, 100C. Um, rating batteries that I want to create a 12S pack out of for my uh, Goblin helicopter, or even, probably even my Spectre at this point. Um, so you'll need a you know normal heat gun. Uh, I got my shrink wrap here. Got my two batteries. I also got this little metal tray to help, or this little metal plate rather to help keep the batteries uh, in place when I do it. Um, so first thing I do is, you know, based on the way my helicopter is laid out and the tray is laid out. Um, I, I want to, I like to take my packs and put a battery lead on each side. So I'll switch it around like this and kind of, you know, put them together like this. I want to make this as straight as possible, um, to make sure that it's nice and neat. You know, it's not warped or anything. It's got a slide in that, that little small narrow frame. So you need to make sure you make this, uh, um, as straight as possible. But I flip it around like this so I can have a lead on this side, one on this side. Um, the balance lead on this side is fine. It can sit on that side. It's still easy to charge uh, both batteries separately, but um, this is the way I'm going to do it here. So I'll take this little flat metal piece here. Got some double-sided tape. Get this stuck on here. Just do this real quick. Okay. Thing on the other side. In the center. And then once I have these guys lined up, I'll take a top-down approach on it too, make sure it's kind of lined up on the grids here on the board. And that looks nice and straight, nice and even. Get the other side of the double-sided tape off. Okay, and now I have them in place. Go ahead and just kind of stick this down and it just helps secure that nice little bow right there. How about that? That's nice. Okay. So now I take my shrink wrap and basically what I'm going to do is take one of the corners here and make sure that it's uh, the upper right or upper left corner of the battery. And uh, give me a nice, uh, you know, shrink when I when I put the heat gun on it to make sure that it shrinks properly. But I need to cut some holes in it as well for for my balance line and my, my actual battery lead line as well. So what I'll do is come down, I guess, about halfway. Well, I'll measure it because I want to make sure I, I put just a little bit up at the front. And as you know, a lot can hang out the back. I'll cut it when I finish, but. Now what I'll do is just kind of line up here where I need it to be. And because we know that the edge here is, is this guy, uh, when I open it up, that means this is gonna be the middle of the battery on the left side here. So I'll just cut a slot here. And you just wanna do it lightly because you don't wanna go all the way through. You just want the one on top. So this side will be probably about here. I'll just kind of score it right now. So, and you can use a straight edge. I'm just eyeballing this. Okay, on that side. So when I come around here, that'll come through that hole. And then on the opposite side, what we're gonna do is, because this is the edge again on the top, then this side will basically be, let me see how I have that right there. So I'm gonna come down and then this side will be here on this side. Okay, again, just nice little score for now. Okay, and just make sure that's gonna line up properly, and they, and they are. So I kind of cut them out now, so I'll just do it nice and easy so I don't go all the way through. I just want the top layer, that's all.
Rich trees. And then I'll do balance line here. I can see it. Voila. Nice and easy. And you probably want to slide it into from the front, right? It's going to be very difficult to go backwards when you got to get those lines to come through the holes. So let's open it up and get it slid through from the front. and neat okay now I break out the heat gun and the way I heat shrink this thing too is I'm basically gonna start from the middle and work my way forward work my way back and kind of do the same thing on the side forward back side forward back flip it over same thing forward backwards okay and then at the very end I'll just kind of evenly go over the whole thing to make sure it's tight and then we're pretty much done so let's get that done now Right in there. Okay. And back this with it. And the side. Backwards. Bottom side. Forward. Backwards. Side. And backwards. And this thing has two settings, so this is the hottest setting right now. So I just put on the low setting just to kind of. Make sure I tighten everything up, so I don't want to tear the actual plastic itself with too much heat. It'll definitely rip it up. So there it goes. Nice and easy. All right. Then I can take my trusty X-Acto and I haven't cut the back. That's why I just, you know, don't put so much on the front part because you don't want to trust yourself with no X-Acto knife up uh, around the battery leads up there. So I'd rather do it in the back. And there you have it. Nice little 12S pack. For those of you like me, I mean, I still use EC5, uh, EC5s. I haven't switched over to the really cool um, Super Plug Jet like everyone else has done, but now I can take this and uh, I have a Spectre tray here I can mount it to for my XL Power Spectre. Or if I need to build out another um, Goblin pack for my, my Saab, uh, SAP helicopters, I could do that as well. So but that's it. Nice and easy. Okay, charge it up. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Thank you.